Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to make a quick little guide on how to get gold on tendril tortures. It is one of the first adventures that you will encounter in Guild Wars 2's new expansion where you run around with a flamethrower and try to burn 110 little jungle tendrils as fast as you can. There are a couple of hidden ones that I wanted to point out in this video. Just how to get done with it. Uh, as you can see though, you don't need to be very good uh, to get gold so you can get your two mastery points. Uh, but another thing to keep in mind though is that this is also a daily that you can do. Uh, and it gives you a fair amount of experience. Um, so if you do it every day, you can work on your mastery tracks. And since it only takes two minutes, and it's a quick way to earn a little bit of extra experience. Um, do need to point out though that you will need tier one of the Itzel Mastery to use these bouncing mushrooms. Uh, so you can get up here where the vast majority of the tendrils are sitting there and waiting for you. Um, the flamethrower has a range just a little bit larger than the unexploded shots, and if you hit one of those, uh, it will stun you for a few seconds um, and slow you down quite a bit. If you take three to four of them, you won't be able to hit gold, but as you can see, uh, you can get hit by two and easily make it to your 110. Uh, just keep in mind. I'm following a, a path here that I figured out it gets done pretty quickly um, and avoids a couple of the the bombs. Another thing you gotta watch out for while you're doing this is the way Guild Wars handles flamethrowers is really weird. It shoots not where your character is facing but where the camera is facing. And there you go. That is how you get gold. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll try and do a couple more of these guides for the other adventures. Have a good day.